Dubai has some of the biggest skyscrapers and buildings. However, there's one thing that not many people talk about, the man-made islands. While we know the man-made island in Dubai is home to luxury, premiumness, wealth, and a status symbol, only one of many originally planned islands survived. After 20 years of work and $13 billion invested into these projects, only one man-made island survived and it is the popular Palm Jumeirah. Palm Jumeirah has been successful, but that's not to say that it has been out of trouble. So, if you want to learn more about the failure of Dubai's $13 billion man-made islands, keep watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more videos like these. The Palm Jumeirah was made before all the other projects and was successfully completed in 2006, just before the global crisis. Moreover, Jumeirah was also the most accessible yet smallest of the four islands built. This island was established in Al Safo, a popular district that was known for being the most expensive neighborhood in this area. Moreover, the Palm Jumeirah was planned well, with almost every other district accessible. It became the perfect mix of residential and commercial properties. Hence, this was a huge thing for the island as it was a self-sustaining area with business booming from all over the world. However, that doesn't mean the project has been without trouble, since there have been tons of controversies that have popped up in the past and even to this day. For example, when Palm Jumeirah Island was nearly built, there was this report by the New York Times that said this island, including the other ones, were all sinking back into the ocean at a rate of five millimeters per year. Moreover, some reports even stated that the sand that was piled up from the ocean might not have been good enough to support these man-made islands. However, the Palm officials said that there was no evidence of all this happening and that it was just a hoax created by people. However, there surely was an issue with the water, which everyone seemed to catch on to quickly. You see, the three man-made palms were designed with a crescent on the outside, which protected the residential places from the inside of the palm. However, this has caused other problems where the outside crescent has turned the ocean into a lake. A study from 2022 states that Palm Jumeirah Island's construction affected the surrounding water quality and surface temperature during 2001 to 2020. This study found that the construction of the island completely changed the surrounding water's temperature by 7.5 degrees Celsius in the last 19 years. But what happened? Weren't they concerned about the environment back when the project started? Well, to make things clear, back in the 2000s when the project was just starting out, environmental concerns were the least and no one seemed to care about how construction could affect the world. The island was created by transporting a whopping 94 million cubic meters of sand from the seafloor, which also disturbed the marine life in the process. Moreover, another study found out that the construction of Palm Jumeirah Island has destroyed the surrounding wildlife, increased turbidity, and changed the alongshore sediment transport. Now, you must be wondering, if such a successful island caused this many problems all over the world, the other three unsuccessful ones might be causing even more, right? Well, yes. Consider the example of the Palm Jebel Ali Island. This island suffers from one of the biggest and most unfixable property-related issues. The issue is that it is built in a terrible location. No one wanted to live in this south location, which sparked much controversy. But what exactly is it about its location that is causing so much problems? Well, the Palm Jebel Ali Island is located so far away from Dubai that the closest thing to it is the Dubai Port Island. And knowing Dubai, it is home to tourist attractions, which made everyone lose interest in Jebel Ali Island. Surrounding this island is nothing other than the desert, which seems like the most uninteresting place to anyone living in Dubai. But when we look at Palm Jebel Ali Island, it seems like it has been abandoned, along with Dubai's Waterfall Island, which was supposed to fight erosion from the palm. However, both islands seem to have stopped construction, as you can see from the pictures. But it's been a while since the project was stopped, and it was in 2009 when the global crisis came, hindering the construction of many other man-made islands in the area. The global crisis changed the scenario, especially in the real estate industry. Mega-projects like the artificial islands were in danger of collapse, 
exactly what happened to the $13 billion man-made islands in Dubai. With prices falling over 60% at that time, Dubai was facing one of the biggest challenges in history. After the price fall of 2009 and onwards, the project was simply abandoned because the low housing prices wouldn't even cover the cost of construction as they originally planned. It was too big of a danger to dip their toes in. But that was just a single struggle on the island because an even bigger crisis was about to come. You see, the developers between Palm Jebel Ali were reliant on the government of Dubai's funds, which was basically oil money provided to them for the construction of the island. However, the global crisis brought the price of oil down, meaning the project wouldn't even have enough funds to be completed. Now, let's talk about the Palm Daira, which was supposed to be the largest of the three palms, most probably due to its central location in Dubai, which gave it a huge edge. However, you will be surprised to know that this project didn't even make it further than its entrance. This was because the project was then rebranded to the Daira Islands, with a goal of using the half-built area to make 80 hotels, along with multiple residential towers, along with many golf courses. This project is still undergoing and should be completed by 2040 goals of Dubai. Well, this isn't a fully failed project because the one that we're going to talk about now is the biggest mistake Dubai might have made. This project is called The World, and ironically enough, it seems to be the biggest mess out of the three man-made islands we've talked about. The World was originally planned to be an island paradise where unprecedented opportunities can be found. It had a focus on exceptional retail venues. The 2003 promotional video was out of the world and it showed lavish green islands with villas, boats, cafes, and everything exclusive would be found on this island, attracting visitors from all over the world. While this plan looked great, no one had any desire to be there. The island wanted to replicate the map of the world, creating various countries, but the design itself wasn't even accurate. The differences in the countries were so inaccurate that it didn't seem like the world, but a man-made island with a lot of construction errors to be made. Even after a lot of construction on the island, it is not almost empty, while 60% were sold back in 2008. However, that doesn't mean any construction on the island here. A $7 million house was constructed by the developers in the northwest corner of Greenland, which was ultimately given to the German F1 driver Michael Schumacher. This was a unique giveaway that shook the world, but the driver himself never even gave an indication that he'd even visited the house. Moreover, in the world, the island of Lebanon has been developed into a beach club, which is often used to escape the noise of the city. However, even to this date, the world is pretty empty, and you rarely see someone in sight. A YouTuber even visited this island not so long ago, and the conclusion was that not a lot of visitors are visiting this island and it largely remains empty even to this day. To conclude this, most of these man-made islands have failed due to one simple reason. There isn't much around them. You see, there are many houses out there, but at the same time, if all the tourist attractions are so far away, who's going to spend their money on these islands living away from the city center? The Jumeirah Palm Island is fairly successful because the main city is in sight. However, for the other three islands, future seems bleak and dark. And this was the tale of the failure of Dubai's $13 billion man-made islands. Do you think there's still any hope for these islands in the future? Or will they just become a barren wasteland in the upcoming future? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell icon for future fun videos like these. Until next time, peace.